Is he asleep? Just fell asleep. This looks so romantic. Because I wanted to do something big. Why did you choose today? Because I got intrigued today. What intrigued you? I decided I wanted to have a baby of our own with you. I feel extra fit today. Maybe next year, you'll be able to give birth to a pair of twins, or even triplets. What are you thinking now? I'm thinking... I want to take a shower first. Of course. We're not in a rush. Take your time.
enough. Mom is still lying at the hospital. Yeah, here you are, drinking at home. She doesn't want to see me. I heard her. Mom did say she doesn't want to see you. But have you ever thought about why? You're the one who caused her heart attack. You were sitting here instead of trying to go to the hospital and ask for her forgiveness. Take a look at yourself. Do you look like a qualified daughter-in-law? You think I don't want to be a good daughter-in-law? You think I feel happy being like this? Mom hates me so much, there's no way for me to make everything right again. Guan Yao, it's hard to be a daughter-in-law of your family. You had a good life, but you ruined it, and you ruined it yourself. It's nobody's fault but your own. I'm exhausted too. Keep drinking. I'm going to bed now. I'm telling you one more time. That was just an accident. You think I wanted her to have a heart attack? You think I wanted her in the hospital? None of this should have happened. But it has already happened. Have you felt any regret at all since it happened? To be totally honest with you, I regret it. I regret marrying a second wife who doesn't know what dutiful means or how to be kind to the elderly. What do you want? Don't force me to say it. Say it. Be a man. Fine. If our life can't go on anymore, we should divorce. Finally, you said it. You've been wanting to divorce me, is that right? You don't want me anymore, do you? All the vows you took are just bullshit. You abandoned Yu Xiaotian back then. And now you want to abandon me as well, don't you? If you really want to make me out to be an asshole, then so be it. Speak up. What do you want me for? Nothing important. Just want to talk to you. Ah, Mr. Bao is fine. 
but Bao Jia Ming is not. What could happen to me? This is about one of my friends. Oh, your friend? As far as I know, no one but me can make you feel distressed or disgusted or anxious or agitated. Why are you so annoying? I'm annoying? I'll leave you if you feel like that. Come back. It really is about my friend. You got a bit of a problem. I want to hear your opinion. Ah, uh, start talking. Well, this friend of mine... Can you pay more attention? Uh, what have I done? I was listening to you. You said you had this friend of yours, and then, then what happened? This friend of mine has been married to his wife for quite a long time. They also have a good relationship, but they never had a child of their own. At first, he thought he might have some kind of problem. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny to you? Uh, come on, come on. Keep, keep, come on, keep going. Come on. <laughs> then one day, he suddenly found out his wife has been secretly taking birth control pills. What can you tell from that? What it tells is very obvious and simple. This woman doesn't want to have a child. Come on, of course I can tell that. Do you think it's because a woman doesn't love him? Uh, about that. Uh, you'd have to ask the woman herself. But if she really loves him, why would she hide the truth about this? Ah, uh, there's a lot of reasons why women won't want children. Like, for example, she's afraid she'll gain weight. Or maybe her job is too busy. Or maybe this woman has divorced once and already has a child, so she's afraid if you two have another child, you wouldn't love her first child anymore. Am I right? How is that possible? I love both of them. Don't be so sure. You haven't had your own kid. Men are very selfish. Maybe everything will change once you have your own child. You never had a child. How would you know that? Then why do you even ask? You could just go ask this friend of yours. Oh, right. <laughs> it's your friend who asked you about this. Then tell me. What do you think my friend should do? Uh, you... This friend of yours. It's actually very simple. Just tell him to change all of his wife's birth control pills to vitamin C. That way, she'll give birth to a baby within a year. That'll be a happy ending. That's an option, too? Huh? Bong Bong, there's something very important I forgot to tell you. What important thing? When I came back home the other night... I saw Dudu in our house. She was really drunk. Jiaming was holding her. She was lying on our sofa and he was holding her. How did he deal with it? Well, I agreed to let Dudu sleep on our sofa for a night. What? That's a super serious thing. How can you deal with this thing so casually? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, I can't. What do you think I should have done? I don't think Jiaming would do anything out of line. Besides, I was there to see everything. She really was strong. Oh, come on. You're really too soft-hearted. Really, you're too kind. Let me tell you, sometimes men don't really like women who are too magnanimous. A woman should act up a little bit from time to time. That's the only way men will be afraid of you or take you seriously. So you want me to fall out with him? Fight with him and annoy him? That's exactly what I did with Liu Guangyao back then, and it didn't end up well. Whatever. Those are two completely different things. <sighs> Listen to me. Bao Jiaming and Dudu used to be a couple after all, right? This Dudu is young and she has a nice body. If she keeps hanging around Jiaming day after day, it'll be quite possible for them to have feelings for each other again. Then why did you say the opposite the last time I asked? You said men are only interested in new things and they never do the same things twice. Yeah, but what I really meant was that things are always going to be changing. Hey, look at it. Dudu already has gone to your house after she got drunk. She even slept in your place. Oh my god, we don't even know whether she's already slept with your man. Don't say that. It's impossible. Huh. If a man can control that stupid thing of his, you wouldn't call him a man. Stop saying that. The more you talk, the more afraid I am. You're right to be scared. Instead of just sitting here waiting for it to happen, you should just take him by surprise. Just go straight to his company and find out what's happening. Listen to me. Sometimes a woman has to be cruel to her man. I think it's time for me to go there and see. Mm -hmm. Show up as the boss's wife. Discover the truth and protect your marriage. My marriage doesn't have a problem. Why do I need to protect it?
Do whatever you want. <laughs> Let me introduce all of you. This one here is my wife, Yu Xiaochang. Thank you for all your hard work. It doesn't have to be this formal. <laughs> you guys have been working hard lately. She's here to pay you guys a visit. She brought some delicious food for all of you. Here, here, here. This is a gift for you guys from Mrs. Boss. <laughs> Today after work, if you guys have no other plans, I want to buy dinner for all of you. Then in the evening we can go karaoke. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. No need to thank me. You can give these out to everyone now. I brought hey, everyone right. some pastries. Oh, here you go. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dudu, you look very pretty. Xiaoqiang, you look very good today as well. Right, Jiaming? Yeah. She spent two hours doing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> then, is the way I look different from before? You brushed your bangs to the other side today. Oh, wow. Thank you, boss. You actually paid attention to me. Do you like the way I look? I like the way you were better. Fine. I'll brush it back to the other side. I'll listen to my boss. <laughs> Uh, you guys keep talking. I'll get back to work. Sure, Dudu. You reached your goal. Allow me to say something before dinner starts. First, I want to thank you all for being there to support me in the hardest time of the company's early stage. Thank you for your hard work. I'll take a bow to you guys. Well, uh, the second thing I want to say is some true words from my heart. I've always felt that it's not the employees who are relying on the boss, it's the boss who's relying on his employees. So, I'm putting the rest of my life in your hands. I'll take another bow to you guys. Okay, okay, okay. And third, today, in here, I especially want to express my gratitude to my wife, Yu Xiaoqiang. She has always been standing beside me, supporting me, and encouraging me when I need her. I wouldn't be able to stand here without her. <laughs> also, this dinner is sponsored by her. <laughs> okay, I'll take another bow to my lovely wife. <laughs> well, there's nothing else special that I need to say today. Just enjoy your meal and drinks. Then after this dinner, we also arranged a little get-together in a karaoke tonight. So when you guys drink during this meal, drink slowly. Save some space for later. There's another round waiting for us. Awesome! Oh, thanks, yeah, boss! Yeah. Alright! Wait, listen, listen. Well, uh, we should let my wife have a little speech as well. Then I'll say something. Mm. Thank you guys for coming out. I just want to thank my husband for making this happen. So I finally have the chance to get everyone together. I'm very honored to be here. I'll say one more thing. Mm, this is my husband's first time running a company. We both don't have much experience. There's a lot of things we don't know. In the future, I hope all of you guys can guide us and support us. Think of this company as your family, then it will become better and better. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's a hell of a good speech. But there's a saying that goes, just talking doesn't cook rice. Empty a glass first, then we'll all be very thankful. Right, guys? Yeah. I'll finish this one first. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, Mrs. Boss, you're such a straightforward person. Let's not stand on ceremony. Well, Mrs. Boss, I'll drink a toast to you. Uh, here you go. Cheers. She's good. Miss Boss, my name is Huang Hong from the sales department. You can call me Xiao Huang in the future. Here's to you. Okay, here's to you, Xiao Huang. Whenever you need something, let me know. Okay. Hey, you don't have to finish it. Uh, it's Such my turn. A, uh, you sit down, sit down, sit down. I'm saying this as a boss. How can you guys make her drink so much? Do you still take me as your boss? Even though she can drink quite a lot, I'm going to make a new rule. Whoever wants to drink a toast to her has to drink three glasses first. Three glasses it is. Here, Dudu, I'll drink with you. 
Xiao Chang. Here's to you. Hey, cheers. I'll finish it. Be my guest. I'll finish it too. Uh, good, good, good. Uh, yeah, give him a hand. Uh, two exceptional women. We're not here just for drinking today. We're gonna eat and enjoy. Here, here, here. Come on, come on. Start eating. Come on, let's eat the food. Everyone here. start eating. Yeah. Start eating now. It'll get uh, cold. Eat up. No tension there. Oh, right. Um, this is our first time meeting with Mrs. Boss. It's also her first time meeting us. So I suggest that the boss and Mrs. Boss should do a cross cup toast. How's that yeah, sound? Right. Good idea, Good suggestion. Right? Good idea. Uh, actually, I've never seen you two do this cross cup toast before. About drinking a cross cup toast, huh? There's big and small cross cup toast. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> Clap your hands if you want to see the big cross cup toast. <laughs> Cross cup, cross cup, cross cup, cross cup, cross cup. Bye bye bye. We'll drink a super large cross cup toast. <laughs> Enough teasing. Can we start eating already? <laughs> Do you guys still want this month's bonus? Come on, just eat. She drank too much. I'll go check on her. Now you're telling me you regret it? Then why didn't you have any regrets when you were cheating on me with Amy back then? I'm the one who has regrets. I regret choosing you over Bao Jia Ming in the first place. Let me tell you, he's 10,000 times better than you. Doo -doo. Let's go back in. It's cold outside. You heard everything? I mean, everything I said? I regret it. I regret ever breaking up with you. You're really such a great guy. A great man! I have no idea why I ever gave up on you! I guess I got what I deserved. It's my karma. Dudu, let's get back in. Everyone's waiting. I don't want to go back. Don't sit here. You're drunk. You'll catch a cold. I thought I wouldn't care about it. But seeing her sitting next to you, and hearing everybody call her Mrs. Boss, made me finally realize how upset and unhappy I feel. <sighs> the truth is, if I wasn't such a capricious person back then, maybe the one sitting next to you today then would be me. Didn't you used to tell me that there's no if, there's only present just let bygones be bygones. Eventually, everyone has to get on with their own lives. Right. Even if you lose the one person who's right for you, you can only tell yourself to move on and keep going on with your life. It's just that I will never fall for anyone else. You shouldn't be so pessimistic. There's still a long way to go in life. There must be someone waiting for you in the future, right? Yeah. But that won't be you for sure. Let's go back inside. If you stay here too long, Sha Chan will start worrying. Come on. You should go back inside. I just want to go home. Hey, let me take you home. No need to. Why are you so nervous? Look how drunk you are right now. 
<laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's all have another cheers. toast. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> hey, where's the Boston doo doo? Did he go out with doo doo? Huh? Hey, 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 the two of you. This much alcohol still can't keep both your mouths shut? What are you talking about? No, I mean, it's kind of inappropriate for Boss to chase after Doo Doo personally. Am I right, Mrs. Boss? <laughs> what does that mean, Xiao Gong? Trying to alienate me from him? From now on, Wen Xiang Company has to be united, alert, earnest, and active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Boss is so right about it. United, alert, earnest, and active. Come on, here. Keep eating. Come on. Come on, eat. Mm, well, uh, Mrs. Boss. I'm very sorry. I said something stupid. How about this? I'll drink one glass by myself, otherwise Boss would deduct my bonus when he finds out. <laughs> <laughs> Jamming just sent me a text just now. He said something came up. He'll come back later. Let's enjoy our meal. After dinner, we'll go to karaoke. Hey. You really still don't believe me? You really live here? Come up with me if you don't believe me. So you really did rent this place back. Since you're already inside, just sit down and have some tea. It's okay. They're still waiting for me to get back. I should go now. Jiaming! Dudu, don't do this. Take a good look at this room. It hasn't changed a bit. Because I spent the happiest days of my life in here, in this place. I want to keep all the good memories I had. So I decided to rent this place. I arranged everything exactly like it used to be. <laughs> Living in this apartment, waking up every morning. I imagine you're sleeping right next to me. Sleeping so deeply. It makes me feel like we're still together and have never broken up. Jami, I'm begging you not to leave. Can you stay here with me? Coming next, let's have our Mrs. Boss sing a song too. <laughs> Mrs. Boss, sing a song. Mrs. Boss, sing a song. Yeah. Chow Chow, which song? I'll sing Hair Like Snow. Okay. This song is for all of you. Thanks. I know you two are living a happy life. I genuinely wish the best for you two. I never had any thoughts about breaking up your marriage. 
If it wasn't because I'm drunk today, I would have never told you I'm still living in this place. And I wouldn't have said so many things to you. Because I know. I don't have a chance anymore. Dudu. You've said enough to me today. Some things are better... to just keep to yourself. <sighs> oh. Okay. But I have something I want to show you. Wait a moment for me. Tears kept rolling down. If time could be stopped or rewound, the flower will never wither in this life, hoping that in this life it never will. Wishing you nothing but. No one sung a song to me ever since the day we broke up. I had to learn to play the guitar and sing to myself. This song, I sang it just for you. You like it? Thank you, Dudu. Even though this guitar is still the same as before, all of this doesn't belong to me anymore. you sometimes. I really can't help but miss you all the time. Chiaoming, I love you. I love you.
Come in. You got time? I have something to say. I'm not busy, just tell me. <sighs> What's this for? My resignation. Well, if this is about what happened last night, you really don't need to do this. I already forgot. You forgot it? But I can't forget it. I thought I can hide my feelings very well. But no matter how tough I am inside, you... you'll always be my biggest weakness. But you can't fix the problem by avoiding it. I'm not avoiding it. The closer I am to you, the more I want to get you. I understand. There's no chance for us anymore. So every day is a struggle for me. <laughs> Yesterday I finally told you what I thought when I was drunk. I felt so relieved afterwards. Yes, I still have feelings for you. I can't let go. That's why I have to leave. Where can you go if you leave? I found myself a better work opportunity. Are you serious? I am. What kind of job? Well, they pay me better, and they have a better environment, and a brighter future for me. I really wish you'll have a brighter future. <laughs> Jamin. Thank you. Never. 
要再分离。幸福，我们爱。